Hello YouTube people, today I'm gonna show you how to self test your instrument cluster and your Volvo VN between the years 2008 through 2017. So let's get started. The first thing you will do is navigate through the menu, alright? And let's go down, way down, until you see diagnostics. Once diagnostics is highlighted, you press enter in there and we have two options in here do you active false and cluster self test so we are going to check it out cluster self test as you can see there are four different tests all these tests are specifically to check it out the dashboard all the instrument cluster itself so let's let's start for the first one tell tells test and this one is to check all the warning and accessory lights related to the dashboard. As you can see, they pop up. And as you can see, everything looks fine. All right. So once we are done with the test, we just, we just press escape or the test finish itself after three times. All right. Sorry, guys. Okay. Now we are going to check it out the gauge the gauge test all right you see all the needles working nicely that's the way they had to work all right and that's it that's the test finish so as you can see as long the the needles stays on the pl on place like this it means they are okay now let's check it out the display test all right we have an orange screen the darker screen the one you use when you use the you, you turn on the lights and you see it does it like i think like two times or three times but if you see any dead pixel in the screen uh you have a really big issue with the instrument cluster because uh, let's escape all right because the bad thing about these instrument clusters in Volvos if something is not working properly all right you have to replace the whole instrument cluster there is no way you can replace only one part of the of the dashboard there is no way I already removed like three or four of these instrument clusters and Believe me, guys, there is no way you can remove only a, an, a single light bulb or even if you want to replace the light bulbs, I couldn't replace it. I tried to open it, but it seems like it's glue all the way around. So it's like, uh, uh, it's like you can replace it. It's like uh, there is no way you can open it. No, like, like if Rylaners instrument cluster, especially the ones in the older Cascadias, those are you can replace the light bulb and everything is fine but this one i'm like i already tried and you can do anything about it and sometimes you see these needles sometimes the needles go way all more down like a 90 degrees down from where it is right now and the same the same story you cannot replace even the single uh gauge so that's one of the bad things about these kind of trucks because when it comes to electronic parts they are really really expensive and sometimes the bad thing you had to send them to the dealer to be reprogrammed you cannot even reprogram yourself even if you are able to replace the part you cannot reprogram it because i already changed once one of these instrument cluster which they are really expensive it costs around uh 1500 to 2200 so i'm like wow that's that's a lot of money just for this piece of <laughs> this is for this part and the bad thing is like you still need to send your truck to the dealer okay so if you guys have any kind of trouble with the dashboard i recommend you to deal with it at least as long as you can and if there is something important like the stop light or the check engine light or something like that yes of course you have to replace them but it's something related like for example the these gauges in here the primary and secondary air tanks 
I think you can deal with it because usually when there's no air, the, you see the green, the red dots in the air tanks, it means that it means you can, you, there is no air. As long as you don't see those lights on, you are good. So that's what it happens, guys. And let's check it out the last test. That it is the speaker test. As you can see, it is working. All right, now it says inactive and the test is finished. And, and that's the funny thing because even if the, the speaker is not working, you cannot even replace the speaker. You had to replace the whole dashboard. So I have seen many trucks, uh, especially on Volvos that the speaker doesn't work anymore, but uh, the driver doesn't care at all. But the bad thing is like DOT requires you to hear an uh, alert when there is no air or something that, especially when there is no air, the, the dashboard mu must be, uh, has to make a noise. So that's what it is guys. Um, that's what I have for you today about the instrument clusters on these Volvos. Please let me know what you think in the comment section below and uh, see you in the next video. Thanks.